All right, hello guys. Uh, Shrieking Geek here. Oh uh, yeah, now you see my face. Put a face to a name. Shrieking Geek. Uh, so I've been debating what I want to do with my channel. It's been a long debate, actually. It's been one of those kind of. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I'm sorry if I'm looking down. I'm trying to open something for a few minutes, <laughs> but. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos of me playing games. I know some of you haven't been watching it. I know some of you have been. Nah, it's kind of mixed. I want to put content out there that people want to watch. So that's kind of why I paused and I didn't really upload much. I kind of had to think, what do I want to post? What do I want to do? Uh, is there anything specific that I should do? So I've been thinking about it. I want to upload more, not just gaming videos. I want to upload reviews, which is why I wanted to make this channel in the first place. I just bit my tongue. <sighs> Gotta love live recording. Um, but I want to add reviews. So I've been thinking about that. I'll review actual video games for Xbox, PlayStation, computer, Wii. 3DS, whatever. I only have a certain number of these consoles. I can try to review other games. It depends. Uh, I have a bunch of board games I can review, which now you can hear me playing around in my board games. But I have a bunch of stuff I can review, so I'm going to start with that today. I'm going to actually review a game that I've played three or four times on my own. Well, three or four times with friends, and then a few times on my own, too. And the on the own, I will tell you about in a minute. So the game I am talking about today is Lords of Waterdeep. As you can see, Lords of Waterdeep. It is a D and D, D and D game. It's for up to two to five players. It's ages twelve and up. But if you have a parent helping you, I think you could play maybe ten and up. Just gotta kind of watch. And I mean, it depends on the child too. I mean. My oldest nephew could have probably played this easily when he was done. I'm just saying. So, with the game, you get a lovely instruction manual. I already have this open, by the way. Lovely instruction manual. It's 24 pages thick. But it's very helpful. It tells you how to play the game, how to set up the game, how to do everything in this game. It tells you... It's basically the Bible of this game. And it even tells you about the lords. It tells you about... The buildings, which if you have any specific questions about a certain building, it'll tell you right here. It describes the building and tells you exactly what the building does. Which is, means it's a great manual, it's a great thing, it's not just one of those, oh, instruction manual for a game. Don't need it. No, it's actually one that you do need and it's one that you should have. And you should read before you play. So in the box, the first thing, other than the instruction manual, is the board. The board's rather big. This is the board. Now you can't see my face. But this is the board. It's rather big, like I just said. It has places where you put the buildings. It has places you put the quest. It basically tells you where to put everything to. So it's a pretty straightforward. It tells you. It's fairly idiot proof. Which is a plus. So, then you get these little tavern cards, which has your factions on them. There's five different factions that come with this base game. So, the game you get, which is, I think, somewhere in the $30 range. I'm not sure. It's between $30 and $40 on Amazon, at least the last time I looked at it, it was. Could have gone up, could have gone down. I haven't looked. I will link it down below and let you know. But yeah, it has the five factions, so up to five players can play. I do recommend at least three, just because two is kind of hard. It's hard to play with two players. You can and it's doable, but it's not as fun. It's funner, more fun, not funner. Funner is not a word. More fun when you play with more, like three or more people. So then in the box, you'll have those little stupid punch out cards where you have to punch out the things, which stinks. But you have little quest cards, lord cards, and it tells you exactly, again, what it is. So again, very idiot proof and intrigue cards. Intrigue you play to bump yourself up in the world, to get you things that you need for your quests, or to screw someone else over. And with each 
Lord, you get different end game goals. So at the end of the game, you get more points, at least with this Lord, you get more points for Skullduggery and Warfare quests. So he basically gets you more points if you do those things. And you can do other quests too, especially if they're high point quests and it definitely, you know it screws someone else over if they're trying to do arcana quests and there's one for 20 points and you know they want it, you can get it before they do. You can do those quests, they're not going to get you as many points, but they do help. Um, then the quest cards, tells you exactly what you need on each quest card. Those little blocks are the resources you need. And then there's the gold you need. And there's what you get. You get six points. And then whenever you take an action that you get any wizards, you get an entry card. It tells you exactly what you need and what you get at the end. And there's little resources. There's little rogues. And there's little wizards and uh, warriors and priests. So the priest is the white, the warrior is the orange, rogues are black, and wizards are purple. So you, to, you collect those resources and it tells you in the booklet how many when you stop those little spots on the board. And you'll see where they go. Like I said, this manual, best thing in the world. You need to read it. It's, I highly recommend it. But basically tells you what you do and each turn you get so many turns per round because this game's played in rounds you have eight rounds to accomplish so much and to finish all quite like any of your quests and get as many points as possible and in each round you get so many turns depending on how many agents you have and your little agents they're adorable by the way they are absolutely precious they're little meeples. I love meeples. They're, they're cute. They uh, signify how many turns you have because you put your little meeple, once I get this little meeple back in a spot, you take your little meeple and he hangs out in your tavern. This is your tavern. This little card hangs out up here in your tavern. And you have so many meeples up here per round. And then you put them in places. And then when no one has any more meeples left or any more moves left, then you score, you pull everybody back, put everybody <clears throat> where they belong, you pull all your little meeples back, my voice is cracking, pull your little meeples back and then you start the next round. Each round is signified by a spot on the board and it tells you all of that. This game's pretty straightforward. It's honestly, like I said, it's pretty idiot proof. There are things that you can mess up, and I have. I've messed up in this game so many times I can't tell you, but it's so fun. I, the board game alone, I would easily give four, four to four and a half stars out of five to the board game alone. But adding the app, there is an app, if I can pull it up, there's an app for Apple that you can get and it's the literal board game you have the board game here and you get the little board and it moves and you mostly play against computers you mostly play against AIs but you can play with friends that have this app the app alone makes it really great because you can kind of figure out how you want to play and what you do on the app because it is the app is more idiot proof than the actual board game. Because with the board game you have to kind of make sure you're fo you are personally are following the rules. Whereas with the app, the app makes sure you follow the rules. So the app has the rules and there is no deviation, there's no house rules. It's straightforward, which is great because it helps you learn how to play before you ever get the board game. If you're debating to get the actual, like, game, box, game, I'd get the app first if you can. Get the app at $7. A lot cheaper than the 30 to 40 I said before. 
I'd get it and play it and see if you like the game, see if you, and you can understand the mechanics too. It's great. It helps you figure out how you want to play, how you want to do things when you play with other people. I recommend it highly. So the app itself also gets like four to four and a half stars only because I play with certain house rules when I'm at home and I like the house rules and you can't add your own rules to this or you can't add your own spin on things which meh and it's more fun to play with people too like you can chat with the people and you can call them jerks and meanie heads and bums and all of that you can call them names but on here you're basically yelling at a screen which makes you look crazy so this game I definitely recommend it and if you want to see someone play it I'll link down below the Geek and Sundry tabletop crew playing it it's Will Wheaton if you don't know who Will Wheaton is where were you no I'm kidding I didn't know who he, who he was until my brother turned me on to tabletop and then I'm like oh he's been on Big Bang Theory he was in Star Trek he's been doing other things but he plays them down below if you want to um, see someone play it and play it funny he's the greatest person to watch play it because it's hysterical and tabletop is a great series a lot of the games I have and I'll review the actual card games are from tabletop because that's where I get a lot of my ideas and I figure out oh I like those games I want to buy them or I tell people oh I like those games and they get them for me so yeah those a lot of the games that I will review on this channel I will probably be getting from there and I probably most likely unless I forget I will link the actual video from tabletop down below so that kind of ends this review and if there's anything you want me to do or play or review please comment down below I want to make this as viewer friendly as possible I want other people to tell me and give me ideas on what to do because I don't want to not have any viewers or not have people watch what I do because I'm not doing something they want to see I want to know what you guys want to see and what you want me to talk about if you just want to have a sit and have a geek chat I'll have geek chat I like geek chat you can shriek at me ha <laughs> ha shrieking geek get it corny I know um if you want to have me review Xbox games I'll review Xbox games I'll review Wii games I'll review other video games I'll review more board games I'll review card games I'll review RPGs if I ever actually get into RPGing. Um, I'll review books, movies, whatever. If you want me to review it, I'll try. It's just you have to kind of go with the flow with me as well. But I do want to make this, like I just said, very viewer friendly and I want input. I want to know what you want. I want to know what you want to see out of me what you want me to do here if you don't want me to play video games because there's a lot of people play video games on YouTube if you don't want me to do that great if you want me to sit and I don't know what I'm doing with my hands if you want me to sit and review games I can if you want me to find people to play these games with and record us playing them great I can try that I can see about doing those kinds of things just let me know tell me in the comments below please I love comments they make me happy just comment below let me know what you want to see I want to thank you for putting up with me in this video this is like the third time I've recorded this and I'm probably still gonna edit it a lot <laughs> but if there's anything you want to see out of me please 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 I'm begging you please comment I love them but yeah I do want to thank you for putting up with me for listening to this watching this dealing with my voice for almost 15 minutes but I'm gonna let you go and you guys have to remember you need to unleash your inner geek